Hey everybody, we're going to talk about um, a map or a chart that you may not be familiar with but is extremely important. There are a number of ways to display a heat map, but they all share one thing in common. They use color to communicate the relationship between variables and that relationship would have been much harder for us to understand by simply inspecting the raw data. And the heat map actually uses color or color intensity to display the relationship between variables. So what I have here is I have some data from a bookstore change, chain and we have 600 records or 600 transactions um, from their four stores. And what they've done is they have kept a record of the type of book that is sold, has been sold in each one of these 600 transactions. And what we want to do is I want to visualize it with a heat map to help me understand customer preferences at different stores. So we're going to begin with a pivot table. So I'm simply going to put my cursor somewhere in my data and I'm coming to insert and then I'm going to select pivot table. <clears throat> and so my data table range is already selected and I'm going to put it in this same worksheet. So I'm just going to stick it up here and I'm going to say OK. <clears throat> All right, so that's our pivot table holder. So now I've got to come over to my pivot table fields. So I want to collect this by store so I'm going to make bookstore my row. I'm going to make book type my column. And then the record number is going to be my value. Except like all um, good pivot tables, it automatically sums the um, records, which tells me nothing. So I'm going to click on sum of record and I'm going to hit value field settings. And instead of sum of record for um, this, I simply want the count. So summarize values by count. And I want this to be shown as a percentage of the row. In other words, I want to know for store one, what percentage were biography and for store one, what percentage were children's books. So instead of no calculation, I'm going to say percentage of row total and I'm going to hit OK. And then I can close this and now you'll see, make those centered just so we can see what we've got here. Right. So you can see that Store 1, 17.78 were biography, same for children's books, romance, right? But they totaled up to 100. Now that I have my pivot table, I'm going to select just my percentages. I don't want the column totals. I don't want row totals. I simply want what's in cells um, F3 all the way over here to K6. I'm going to come back up to my menu and I'm going to go to home and I'm going to select conditional formatting and I want to select color scales. So Excel's color scale generally works in descending order of magnitude. So if I select green, yellow, red, yep, green, sorry about that, green, yellow, red, right? then what I know is that green is going to be my larger values, yellow are going to be my median values, and the red are going to be my smaller values. So um, you can pick any color palette you want, but uh, green, yellow, red is uh, the most traditional. So I'm going to select that, and all of a sudden what you see is now I can visually see in store two, since I know the more intense the green, right, the higher the value, then I look at a 
a little bit a lighter green that's going to be less going all the way down to red. I hope that you found this useful and I thank you so much for watching.